Dutch streets set alight. Protests against coronavirus restrictions here turned into riots. In cities and towns across the Netherlands, shops have been vandalized and looted, and hundreds detained by police. People marched on the streets after the government introduced a nighttime curfew on January 23rd. Anyone caught violating it could be fined. I do not agree with the actual politics in the Netherlands and the restrictions of freedom. The elderly are vulnerable, but there are also many young people who are vulnerable. And young people are the future of this country. Restaurants and pubs in the Netherlands have been closed since October. Two months later, schools and non-essential shops were also shut. More than 14,000 Dutch have died from the coronavirus and nearly a million are infected. Mayors across the country say they'll introduce emergency laws to prevent further rioting. What we saw has nothing to do with fighting for freedom. We didn't take all these measures for fun. We did so because we are fighting against the virus. And it's the virus which is actually robbing our freedom. The Netherlands isn't alone. There have been anti-lockdown protests around the world since restrictions were first introduced by governments to contain the spread of COVID-19. Experts in public health say the measures are necessary to save lives. But the cost has been unprecedented. Businesses have gone bust and tens of millions are out of work. And the pandemic has pushed several nations into recession. But not everyone is suffering. According to the charity Oxfam, the mega-rich grew richer during the pandemic. In a report released last month, Oxfam says the combined wealth of the world's billionaires rose by nearly $4 trillion last year. In the same period, the number of people forced into poverty increased by up to 500 million. Oxfam says it will take a decade for most to recover from the economic fallout. Critics also warn that some nations have exploited the restrictions to crush dissent. One civil liberty group says democracy itself is under lockdown. So is more civil unrest expected as public restrictions are extended? And is the pandemic making the world a more unequal place? Haider Abbasi, The Newsmakers.